let's see if we could solve this transform problem. The key here is to identify this five carbon chain in our starting material and see where it is in our product. So we have a methyl ketone here, and if we track it like that, we could see that we have another um, methyl, methyl group that we end up with. So this actually looks like a Robinson annulation. Let's go back to a pen, sorry. A Robinson annulation, and the disconnection we're gonna make initially is recognizing that we have an alpha beta unsaturated pattern here, an alpha beta unsaturated ketone. So the disconnection we're gonna make is right here between the alpha and the beta carbons. If we think about those two carbons that we are trying to bring together, one of them started out as a nucleophile and one of them started out as an electrophile. And of course the alpha carbon, the one that is next to an, uh, a carbonyl, was my nucleophile, which means the other carbon was my electrophile. Now how do you get an alpha beta unsaturated ketone? It's when your electrophile is a carbonyl. So what a a retroaldol, our first disconnection is an aldol. So at this position we want to add a carbonyl. And at the other position we had our uh, our alpha carbon. So this is my alpha carbon, this is my enolate, this is my carbonyl carbon. When I react those two, I get an aldol condensation. If I lose water, I get a carbon-carbon double bond there, <clears throat> an alpha beta unsaturated. So the second disconnection I'm gonna make is comes from the fact that this is a 1,5-dicarbonyl. A 1,5-dicarbonyl, if we can count our carbons here, one, one, two, three, four, five. And the disconnection we have there is going to be at this alpha carbon so considering those two uh, carbons that we want to have come together, let's do this in blue so we can uh, make them different from the first ones. Again, thinking about those two carbons, one of them was a nucleophile, one of them was an electrophile. And the one that is alpha to the two carbonyls, this alpha carbon was my, elect my nucleophile, excuse me, as an enolate. <clears throat> so the other carbon was my electrophile. Now how do we make this carbon electrophilic? When it is beta to a carbonyl, we do that by, uh, by making it an alpha beta unsaturated ketone. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a retro Michael addition, a retro Michael addition, which leads us to this diketone and this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl. So in this case, this would be my nucleophile. This would be my electrophile. So if I brought these two reagents together <clears throat> in, let's say, in basic conditions, so all I need to do here is add in, notice that this uh, ketone, this diketone, is actually the diketone that we started with. And so all I need to do is add in the appropriate electrophile, alpha beta unsaturated ketone, and some base. So our typical conditions are something like sodium hydroxide and water and heat. <clears throat> and then we would expect this to undergo a Robinson annulation. So first it's going to undergo a Michael addition. It's going to undergo a Michael addition to give this substrate. And then once I have the, um, once I have this compound formed, it will continue on to do an intramolecular aldol condensation and give the target molecule that we were looking for. Here is we are doing 